Hello everyone, this is Juan from KenHub. Welcome to another tutorial. This time I'm going to be covering the hypothenar muscles. Now keep in mind that on this tutorial specifically, I'm going to be covering the origins, the insertions, and also the innervation of this group of muscles. Later on, I'm going to be focusing on the functions on a separate tutorial, but for now this, this tutorial will be important for this training unit specifically. Now, without further ado, let's start with the tutorial talking about the muscles. And you see here on your left an image of your hand on the Palmer view. If you were to strip your skin and also fat and be left with bones, ligaments, and of course the muscles of the hands. Now, where to find the hypothenar muscles? This group right here. So, this is where you're supposed to find the hypothenar muscles. And this is on the ulnar side of your hand, more specifically on your little finger side. So keep in mind, and also as you can see here, this is a group of four short muscles. So let me highlight this, that there are four hypothenar muscles that we're going to be covering on this tutorial. Before we do so, I also want to show you here an image of a hand where you can specifically find this group of muscles. And if you were to do this position as well, you can clearly see here a prominence. So these muscles contracted, you can see here that this is forming what is called a hypothenar eminence. And this hypothenar eminence is where you can exactly find this group of muscles. Now let's list them. And they have really interesting no names, so keep or bear with me as I list them because they're quite funny, I would say. The first name is Abductor Digiti Minimi. The second one is the Flexor Digiti Minimi. And the third one, the Opponents Digiti Minimi. And the last one that we're going to be covering is the Palmaris Brevis. So let's start with the very first muscle. This is the abductor digiti minimi. And as you can see here, it is located at the border of the palm of your hand, and it clearly defines the medial, or also known as the ulnar border of the palm of the hand. Now, in terms of origins, there is one origin that you need to know where this bone is starting, let's say, and you can clearly see here on this image is the pisiform bone. And it goes all the way to insert here in two places that you need to remember the proximal phalanx of the fifth finger and also the dorsal aponeurosis of the fifth finger this video is not over yet continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com we have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website not to mention all the fun quizzes related articles and atlas sections so click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy